Hi, my name is Mike Campanini, and this video is going to create a cardboard box, export it with the ASC exporter, and then bring it into UDK and apply a material and a texture. Uh, another goal that I have with this video is to go over some of the pitfalls that people have been having uh, when they're uh, exporting their static meshes and bringing it into UDK where they're having trouble. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and get started. Uh, I'm going to go into edit mode, hit S and then just two, and I'm going to make this a uh, double the distance of the uh, the cube here, and I'm going to floor it so that it comes into UDK already floored. Uh, if you are not familiar with uh, origin scale and units inside of UDK, uh, please check out my other video, and you'll be able to uh, understand that a little bit better. I already have the material assigned, and I'm going to go ahead and UV unwrap this. So with edge selection. This is not going to be anything complicated. Uh, I'm going to do one edge loop down the center here and select everything you unwrap. Now, before we go into the UV image editor, uh, while inside of edit mode, I'm going to hit N to bring up this menu on the right. And down here in this section, there is a normals tab. And I'm going to increase the size here so it's easier to see. And then I'm going to click this one with the face highlighted. And the blue lines represent the surface normals of your static mesh or whatever mesh that you're working on. Uh, what that means is that when the texture is applied inside of UDK, the texture will be outwards facing or facing in the direction of this blue arrow. And if I go into face mode and then I do flip normals, now that blue line is facing inside of the box. So unless I have double-sided materials on and selected inside of UDK, this whole face will not appear to be there. It will not be there at all. Uh, so your texture will be displaying on the inside of the mesh rather than on the outside. Uh, so how we can fix that is uh, by checking to make sure that all of our blue lines are outwards facing or select all and then press control N and recalculate the normals. Uh, this does not always work. So sometimes if you're still having trouble, uh, go in, select the normals button and look for yourself. The size merely adjusts the size of the blue lines. So usually I bump that up so it's really easy to see. What we're going to do next, I'm going to turn that off. Since I just UV unwrapped, I'm going to bring this out. I'm going to go into the UV and image editor, and we have this already set up. I'm going to create a second UV uh, space for the light map inside of UDK. We don't want to get the uh, vertex count error. That is uh, somewhat common. And then I'm going to go UVs, export UV layout. And I'm going to dump this right on my desktop as cardboard.png. Inside of GIMP or Photoshop, I'm going to open up my cardboard.png and I'm going to get rid of my grid lines. I'm going to create a layer underneath my UVs and just paint it black or whatever color I want. I use black just so it's easier to see. I went to cgtextures.com and I pulled a couple uh, cardboard textures off of their website. Very good for uh, getting something quick and easy. Uh, I highly recommend that website and uh, you can sign up for a free account as well. Back into my texture, what I'm going to do is I'm going to just paste and I can scale this up a little bit, paste my texture right in. And then I'll clean this up in a minute. And for the inside, I'm going to change it so that the grain of the cardboard is going a little bit different. I delete it here. And one more time. Just stretch this out just a little bit. Now you'll notice that I put an edge loop, this edge loop, uh, to kind of help guide me when I'm doing my texturing. Uh, I can delete it later if I want, but for right now, that line is creating a new layer, is here, 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 
and here. So that's really going to help guide me where uh, I'm going to place the location of certain items uh, on this uh, texture. So I'm going to go ahead and clean this up just a little bit. I want to make sure that I leave a little bit of room for bleeding. And clean this up as well. And I'm going to hide my UVs. I'm going to go into my cardboard texture and press Control L and I'm going to adjust the levels. You want to do this for any texture you pull off the internet. I'm going to make sure that I'm using the full range of color and you can adjust it. I don't want it too dark or else it's going to look like wood. So right about here we'll do it. Now a lot of the times uh, if you're doing some of this work you'll, you'll find a uh, you'll get a hard edge. Uh, so for this example I have a hard edge right about here uh, in between those that black circle that I just drew. So I'm going to fix that by using my stamp tool, holding down Alt, clicking somewhere else, and then I'm just going to paint it right in. And that's going to clear out that hard edge right there, and a little bit in this area. All right, so now I'm going to move on to the next step. Since I got a couple other images from this website, I'm going to grab this tape and paste it right in, and I'm going to grab this decal. Pretty good. Now, with the decal, I'm going to just make it real small, and I'm going to adjust the filters over here so that it looks like it blends in a little bit better. Right there looks good. And I'm going to adjust the opacity as well. about there. Now to mess with the tape, this is where I'm going to use my layer mask. From here, anything that I paint black is going to disappear. Anything that I paint white, I just switch my, my color by hitting X, is going to reappear. All right, so this is a non-destructive way of uh, cleaning up your textures and keeping the original version. Now this doesn't have to be perfect, I'm just going to go in real quick and kind of get this uh, just the tape and not the cardboard. So right now I made that a little bit thin. I can go back and just go right in and clean it up. It's nothing too complicated on this video. Just regular, the regular process. I'm going to go through the layers and I'm going to pick something that I like, or not layers, excuse me, the uh, filters. Maybe I'll stick with that one right there, luminosity. I'm going to duplicate the layer, I'm going to right click the layer mask, apply layer mask, and I'm going to hide the original version. Now what I'm going to do with this one is I'm going to scale it down and I'm going to rotate it. And then I'm going to place it right underneath my texture line. Or not texture line, <laughs> sorry. But my uh, edge loop that I created earlier. Change it up a little bit. Print it out. Luminosity is what we picked, and so you see how I'm using that edge loop to kind of guide me on where I'm placing these pieces of tape. Last one down here. All right, so now the tape will be pretty much centered the whole thing. Uh, the decals probably need to come down a little bit. I'm going to put them on this side. 
I'm going to hide my original UV layer. Let's see where it is. I'm going to save this out as cardboard UV. PNG. So there's my texture. Nice and quick. Nothing insane about it. I'm going to go in the blender and I'm going to make my hard edges now. So selecting each edge. And this is for the smoothing groups that I'm doing this right now. The mesh will look much cleaner if I have sharp edges on it. Um, I explain this in more detail in the ASD uh, version 2 uh, video on my channel, but for right now, any edge that I want hard, I'm just going to right click it, control E, and then mark sharp. Okay, so that takes care of that, and now I'm going to go out of edit mode, shift D, duplicate, and scale this up. I'm going to name this object UCX so there's my collision object. I'm going to make sure that both are selected. File, export, SQC and export script, right to my desktop. Box.asc. Inside of UDK, I'm going to go to a fresh project import on my desktop. Box.ase. There's my box. Right click, import, and I'm going to import my cardboard UVs that I made. Now, when I bring this in, I'm going to create a material as well, so I'm just going to click this button. Uh, I'm not going to go over materials too much, it's too big of a topic for this video. Now, I'm going to right click my material over here, and you'll notice that the material is not yet applied. So I'm going to click this, hold down control, and just move it anywhere. I usually move it off to the side and then hit the checkbox here. And when I hit that checkbox, the material is applied over here. And the texture is applied to the material. Now when I bring in my box, since I adjusted the origin, it's going to be floored. And I'm going to drag my material onto my box. And then I'm going to build my lighting. So this pretty much covers, this will take about 20 seconds, but this pretty much covers the entire process of what you would do to take a model and then bring it into UDK uh, without getting invisible faces or any problems uh, that uh, are quite common if you're not used to the workflow. So we'll just wait for this to finish up, close, and I'm going to play my level. Here's our box. Just a regular, ooh, I completely messed that up. <laughs> Let's go fix that real quick. So from here, going into Photoshop, this up here, way too high. So let's see my UVs. I should have used this line rather than this line. So I'm gonna grab this and let's see which one that is. Move this way down here. Hide my UVs again, save. Re-import texture. And i reapply this just in case. Let's see if it worked. There we go, much better. So we have the tape on the outside of the cardboard, just combining different textures, all right? And if you modeled it in a way where uh, you, you see some wear and tear on the cardboard box, uh, doing this method looks really good, really clean. Uh, it's, it, it's a very good method of quickly getting in a uh, file into whatever engine uh, you were trying to work with. So I hope you guys learned something from this video. Uh, I tried to make it as fast as possible to go through. Uh, if you are looking for more UDK videos, I will be coming out with more uh, later on. Then um, subscribe and you'll be able to uh, check them out next time around. Uh, you can also visit me on my website at mcampanini.com. Thanks everybody for watching. Catch you later.